What's up, Bulls Nation? Welcome back. The Chicago Bulls get a victory against the Cleveland Cavaliers for the first time in two years. And not only that, we did it in double overtime with a great game from Andre Drummond, who was attacking the offensive boards. We also saw some Julian Phillips moments where he showed he could be a dog, and we freed the team. We gave him minutes, and not a little bit of minutes. We gave him extended minutes, and he showed us why he is worth the NBA contract. We're going to talk about all that and more, but first, you got to hear the intro. Give me the hot sauce! Give me the hot sauce, Bob. For the lead! Go! Oh. Did you not get the memo? Dosumu for the lead! I want to go higher! Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, I do want to start this video out before we get into it. First, on a more serious note, my heart is goes out to Darius Garland, who lost his grandmother today and still played in this game. And times like this, it goes more than just basketball. We're all humans. We're all put here. We all have family. So my prayers and my heart are with you. Even though you're not a Bulls fan, or sorry, a Bulls player, I still want to give you all the love and all of the heart and prayers that are necessary in times like this. And with that, let's get right into the video. The Chicago Bulls beat the Cleveland Cavaliers for the first time in two years. And a big part of that, a major part of that was Andre Drummond. Drummond killed it this game. 26 rebounds for Andre Drummond, destroying the boards, doing everything you need him to do, and that helped the Bulls get 74 rebounds this game. The Bulls scored 74 rebounds, 25 of them offensive. They dominated the boards. And that is something that is what you want to see as a Bulls fan. Not only was Drummond getting after it, we saw Julian Phillips also get in there and get dirty. We saw Bitim get in there and get dirty dirty get those rebounds do not give up on plays and that's the type of play you want to see from this team let the young players go to work and that brings me to the young players Julian Phillips got some extra minutes this game mostly because Caruso was out due to the injury and it was his birthday so happy birthday to the headband goat but what I want to say is Julian Phillips in his minutes has shown that he can be an asset to this team. He can hit the corner three. He can play like a dog. He uses his strength to get to the rim. And honestly, after this summer when he puts on muscle, I can only see him getting even better. That's what I can't wait to see next year. But on top of that, we also saw Batim get extended minutes. He not only got extended minutes, he got late game overtime minutes as well. And he showed why the Bulls signed him to a real contract the man can shoot okay and not only can he shoot he's not afraid to pull up and that is what this team is missing a bona fide three-point shooter and we didn't get to see him dunk this game but he's also going to be able to do that as well but what I saw from him is active on the court going after rebounds trying to get steals he had an amazing play where he stole the ball was falling to the ground and pass it up to Julian Phillips it did turn into a turnover but it was amazing effort and that's what you want to see the young players got time this game and they showed that they are ready to get more minutes they definitely all deserve more minutes than Javon Carter Right, And this is the only part of this game that I did not like. Javon Carter is shit. Okay? Absolute trash. I mean, Javon Carter is the trash that you throw out on the corner in New York. He is just not worth a goddamn thing. Not only did he pass up on an open three... He passed up on the most open layup attempt I've ever seen since Ben Simmons. Get the man off the team. Give the team, give Julian Phillips... All of his minutes because they, in their short time today, showed that they are better players than him by far. Now back to the Bulls, young players. They did everything you want them to do. And we're going to talk about this. So we're going to start out with Julian Phillips. 14 minutes, 7 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 for 6 from the field, 1 for 2 from the 3-point line. Once again, he was showing his aggression. Onorop, Batim, 10 points, 6 rebounds, and 28 minutes. 3 for 4 from the field, 2 for 2 from the 3-point line, and honestly gave some great effort getting the ball going for rebounds. 
That's what you want to see from your young players. Kobe White did not have a good game again this game. 14 points, 8 rebounds, 12 assists. He did the other things other than score, but 5 for 20 from the field, 2 for 13 from 3. He has been struggling. And I mean extreme struggling. And part of that is him learning how teams are going to play him now. I think he will get out of it, but this is just something he has to play through. But when you see the team play the way he did, when you see Julian Phillips play the way he did, if they can continue to do that and shoot the way they've been shooting, it's going to open up Kobe way more in the future for the rest of this season. DeMar DeRozan, 35 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. DeMar came to play 49 minutes. 49 minutes. DeMar played an entire NBA game this game. <laughs> and not only that, he came in in the clutch hitting three free throws at the end of the overtime to push it to a double overtime. And he gave everything, causing a great foul at the end. He pushed it. He became a closer, which is what you love to see from DeMar. It's one of the things we hope he teaches the young players. Another great moment for him. I'd assume 48 minutes 21 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 for 9 from the 3. Io was doing what he needed to do. Vooch with a great game, 24 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists. He did foul out, and you saw him get extremely angry. He was cussing in Serbian. He was swinging a towel at the bench. But, hey, it's one of those things where you can't be in every game. It's going to happen every now and then. But I love to see the emotion. Vooch looked like he knew. He was doing a great job, and he wanted to be out there. He wanted to help this team in the clutch, and we still pulled it out. Like I said, Andre Drummond, 17 points, 26 rebounds, okay? 26 rebounds from Andre Drummond, the most rebounds other than Sabonis this year, and that is what you want to see, him getting on the boards. He has shown time and time again when he's out there, no one is a better rebounder than Andre Drummond. Javon Carter, four points, one rebound, a whole bunch of fucked up plays that you don't want to talk about. And that is what you want to see. Dalen Terry, one rebound. He didn't get a lot of minutes because, honestly, he didn't need to get a lot of minutes. Julian Phillips and the team did all that they needed to do. And that is what you have to see. This was a game where the Bulls came to play. After a game last night where we looked terrible, it is amazing to see them come out, play with heart, play with grit, and grind it out. Do your job. Do what you're here to do. And I look forward to seeing more and more of this team throughout the rest of this season. If this game told us anything, you have to play the young players. Play them all. Give them time and let's see what we have in them so they get actual confidence. Because this year we're not doing shit. So let's get them ready for next year so we can come in here and have a deep team that knows things that we didn't even know they could do. Right now, what I want to hear from you guys, what do you think about the team? Do you think he had a great game? What would you rate this game from one to 10? Let me know in the comment section or just let me know how you felt about how he played with that. I hope you all had a great time. Let's get ready for the game on Friday against Milwaukee and what's going to happen. We're going to have to come to play. We're going to have to put ourselves in position to do the same type of grinded out thing. Milwaukee's a great team. We're going to have to go to work with that y'all have a great night i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy all the videos and once again if you're new and you like what you saw hit that subscribe button so you continue to be a part of the family peace y'all